Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the service stack or serial number on a Dell desktop computer. The same process can be applied to a laptop. So the point of doing this is to find the correct drivers and BIOS version for the model that you have. So in this one, as you can see, I have a Dell Optiplex 3010. As you can notice, this is a desktop computer. And normally on desktop computers, uh, there is a label at the top, as you can see over here. You can read there the service tag, all those numbers and letters, and more information about that. So on a laptop, normally the service tag, the label is uh, on, at the back of the, of the device. Now, what if you don't have this label? It has been removed, you don't find it, or... Or, or something. So the second method to find the service stack is, is to turn on the machine and right away I start pressing F2 to access the BIOS. Now you can see the Dell logo and now we're going to get into the BIOS for this machine. So as you can see Dell Opti Optiplex 3010 and if we go to system information we're going to see the BIOS version that it currently has, the service stack and, uh, and a lot of like the RAM and all that. Okay, so uh, once you get this information, you take a picture or something and you can, you can press escape to continue the booting process. The third method is in Windows itself. So this is Windows 10, can be Windows 11, Windows 8. I never tested in Windows 7, so you can let me know in the comment section below. So we are going to open a CMD, as you can see over here, and we are going to type this command wmic bios get serial number so you press enter and it's going to give you the serial number for your machine so this is the same number we have seen three times now so with this information now we can look for drivers and bios updates so we're going to open a web browser and next we're going to go to dell.com the website is going to look different depending when you visit it. From here, we're going to click on support and we can go to drivers and downloads or support services and warranty. I normally go to drivers and downloads. It's going to take us kind of to the same place. And here, identifying your product is where you have to type or paste the serial number or service tag that you have found on your machine. So you can do this on the same machine or on another. It doesn't make a difference. And we're going to click on search. So after a few seconds, it's going to load the page and it's going to give us all the information for this specific machine or, or model. So as you can see, Dell Optiplex, the service stack, when this device has the, had the support expired, 20, 2016, a long time ago. And now we're, by default, it's going to be in drivers and downloads, okay? This machine doesn't support Windows 11 because it's very old. And now we're going to scroll down a little so you can see a little better. And now we are going to click and access the complete list of drivers and downloads for Optiplex 3010. And you are going to see the list for uh, the, a list for all the drivers that is uh, compatible with this uh, model, with the model that you have. So we're looking for specifically for the BIOS. And as you can see, the BIOS is right there. We can see it. But what if we don't see that because we have a lot of drivers? So here in the keyword, we can type BIOS and it's going to filter out it's going to select the one that we need. And from here, you can expand it. You can see the size. This one was released in 2018. Like I said, this machine is very old. The version uh, that are currently available, you can click on older versions if you need older ones for whatever reason. Okay, and you can you can see the you can close this one. You can see the size for megabytes, almost five, and you can download it. Once you have downloaded, maybe you want to watch one of these videos here that are going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version on many model on many Dell models. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.